All right, everybody. We have uh, FSD in our Cybertruck version 12.5.5, the one that Omar, Dirty Tesla, and other OGs received. And here are the release notes. Pretty cool. So FSD supervised 12.5.5 kind of the same wording as before, upgrades the city streets driving stock to a single end-to-end -end neural network, trained on millions of video clips, replacing over 300,000 lines of explicit C++ code. Uh, it includes end-to-end uh, -end on highway for the first time, so this is all AI models. Uh, there is no more C++ code, algorithm co algorithmic code, uh, even on the highway. So both city streets and highway. Includes vision-based attention monitoring with sunglasses. Awesome. And then there are some upcoming improvements coming. Uh, and then a note that this is an early access build. I'm so lucky. I'm a lucky man. You guys are going to come with me. Let's take this uh, bad boy for a ride and see how it works. Hi, everyone. Here we are in uh, sunny San Mateo, California. And uh, we're going to uh, activate Tesla full self-driving on the Cybertruck. Little press of the right scroll wheel. And there we go, it's activated. I'm not touching the steering wheel, the brake, or the accelerator. It stopped at a stop sign. The uh, visualizations are really nice. You can see that truck coming in. It sees that car over there sees the uh, speed limits similar to how it works on all of the other sexy cars the S, the 3, the X and the Y. This is version 12.5.5 of FSD on the Cybertruck. We just got it. Uh, I believe it's going wide to the whole Cybertruck fleet and uh, I'm super psyched. This is amazing. We've been waiting for this uh, you know since we got the Cybertruck back in January and they had to train the models uh, since the camera placements are different than on the other cars. And uh, uh, now that Tesla is no longer compute constrained, they can uh, uh, get these versions of FSD faster, a lot faster, because they can train these models a lot faster. All right, we're going here through a school zone, and uh, it it handled it well. It handled this little island over here on the left nicely. It went a little bit to the right. Let's see how it handles the pickup truck here that stopped with another car coming in on the other side and perfectly. It gave enough space there for the truck and enough space for the car coming in. And uh, there you go. There's It handled the red light fine as well. Uh, we can see here the red light. We can see the cars coming in. The visualization on this big screen is just amazing. This is the biggest screen, you know, from all of the Tesla cars. It's 18 and a half inches uh, diagonal, and it's really clear. Look how good the Cybertruck looks. I'll zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see it. It's just amazing. All right, it saw the light turn green, so let's move forward. And with this version of FSD on the Cybertruck, this is an end-to-end -end version, both on the city, city streets and also on the highway. It's the first time that we have end-to-end -end also on the highways. Uh, the other cars, uh, they're merging the models, uh, but on our Model Y, for example, uh, we still have you know, heuristic code you know, written by humans and algorithms um, and lines of C++ code. Well, here they threw away 300,000 lines of C++ code, and this is completely end-to-end -end with images coming in on the cameras. And then um, the different neural networks, the different AI models uh, identifying you know, what's going on. For example, this pedestrian, or the two pedestrians over there that are coming through. Um, and then um, um, making the decisions all the way through on whether they should hit the brakes, on whether they should hit the accelerator, whether they should you know, turn the steering wheel, etc. All end to end. So, um, it's a nice sunny day here in San Mateo. Um, we have really good weather here in Northern California, especially by the coast. 
Uh, this is a hot day for us by the coast. It's 93 outside. Um, you know, this is, that's in the sun. Uh, it's most likely, you know, around 80 in the shade. And that's typical for us. You know, throughout the year, we have around 75 to 80. It's just the perfect temperature uh, here in uh, the peninsula. We're about 20 minutes south of San Francisco. Um, right, you know, where the Silicon Valley starts. Uh, a lot of tech companies around here, Apple, Google, Tesla itself in Fremont. That's where I worked for seven years. Um, I worked on the uh, on iOS and Android apps for the logistics team. Um, really great seven years. We went from delivering, you know, the logistics team. We went from delivering 60,000 cars per year back in 2016 to uh, 1.8 million last year. And we're on track for 1.8 or even more this year as well. Uh, even with everything that's going on in the auto industry, with uh, interest rates being high and the economy was kind of iffy, um, we can't say the same for our competitors, our you know gas and diesel competitors, these 100-year-old dinosaur companies that uh, sip on dinosaur uh, juice. Um, their product is. A lot more inferior um, an internal combustion engine car engine for example you know it has 10,000 parts while oh look at this Cybertruck saw that car with a blinker on and it just passed it on the right perfect uh, I've seen this on FSD on the Model Y and on the Model 3 uh, but it's just exciting to see it to see it working on on the Cybertruck as well so far so good um, Let's go on here. Yeah, so all these uh, ICE car companies, they don't really commit to uh, electric cars. Uh, they release electric cars that are subpar with expense, very ex they're either very expensive with huge batteries and you know they're heavy, uh, or they don't have any range, or they don't have you know all of the features that Tesla has. So they don't have a chance. Oh, look at this. It sees the garbage truck over here. And nicely done. It put the left blinker on. It passed it. And then uh, put the right blinker on. Even though there was a car coming, it saw that there was enough space to, uh, to go out and accelerate. It did it better than me. All right. It sees a pedestrian over there. And uh, it's a four-way stop. It let the pedestrian go. And beautifully, beautifully, it then went. So it was a four-way stop, but it saw that it was the first one to get there. It gave enough time for the pedestrian to go through and then just went through. These four-way stops can be tricky. Uh, you really have to pay attention and see who's the first that get to the four-way stop. And then there are other rules. For example, if two people get in at the same time, then uh, it's the one that's on the right. Here we go again. Four cars, but it sees the pedestrian, but it knows that it was here first before the car on the right and then he went he went forward nicely done again beautifully done amazing work by Ashok and the whole Tesla AI team you know with the leadership leadership of Elon Musk uh, Elon Musk who years ago said that the companies that go with lidar and radar and make those expensive cars like Waymo does uh, or Cruise they spend $150,000 on, on their cars and they're not scalable. While Tesla has $2,500 worth of cameras and an inference computer, and it has already six to seven million cars that are on the road that from day one, once we have unsupervised FSD, will be able to become robo taxis. So it's a, it's a much more, it's a scalable model that will, will of course, um, there will be, cars available in the hundreds and thousands of cities around the world uh, way faster than our, our competition. Again, it handled a pickup truck that um, parked over here by San Mateo High School and it saw the, the blinking lights and just went around it. So, so far I'm really impressed with FSD on the Cybertruck and the first version of FSD on a Cybertruck. All right, let's see how it handles. This car is gonna make a left here. We need to make a left a little bit further here in a couple of blocks. So it correctly stayed on the lane. It saw that that car was turning, but uh, it didn't lose any time as the car turned without problems. 
All right, at this red light, we are going to make, uh, let's see, are we gonna make a left here? No, it's gonna go straight for a couple more, a couple more blocks. It's green, so it's going straight. It's a tight street here, but it does see that it has enough time. Let's see how it handles the speed bump, and there we go. It slowed down on the speed bump. Nicely done. It could have slowed down a little bit more, uh, but it still slowed down and it was comfortable enough. The suspension here on the Cybertruck is just so amazing that um, you know it, it beats any suspension of any other car that I've ever owned. Handled the stop sign again. It was there before that car. It waited and then moved forward. All right, here's another, another bump. And on this one, it slowed down at the last second. Uh, and, but again, I don't care because the suspension is just great, but they'll make this better. You know, in future versions, it will slow down perfectly. They'll train the model and it'll know when to slow down. I don't want to interrupt it right now, but you know, if I wasn't recording this video, I might have stopped it and then provided feedback for the Tesla team. Here's another one right here. And this Cybertruck just handled it as if there was nothing there. It's like I barely feel it, you know. Well, that would, that would not be the case on a Model 3, for example, or a Model Y, or any other low car like this Prius that we see here on the left. All right, it's making a left now. Uh, this is beautiful, beautiful Belmont, California. Very nice streets over here. With, uh, we get some shades or these nice trees. And uh, we didn't have a stop sign, so it correctly just went ahead and continued. Right, here's someone with a dog. It sees the person. It's not rendering the dog yet. Uh, I've seen it sometimes in previous versions where it rendered the dog, but I'm sure it's coming. And we are just about a couple of blocks from our destination. And let's see how it handles as it approaches the, uh, the parking lot. And let's see if it goes into the parking lot and then what does it do? All right, one more stop sign over here. Handles the stop sign nicely. Stops and then moves forward. There's a lot of sun over here that can, you know, especially in these earlier builds, confuse FSD. It saw that man opening that door and then it handled it perfectly by going a little bit further away. And then here's the parking lot. I'm going to take over because it doesn't really know where to park yet and I'm just gonna park over here. But perfect drive by FSD. I'm actually gonna use auto park. So here we go. I'm gonna press on this spot right here and tap start. And then the Cybertruck will park itself. Uh, if you haven't yet, I made a whole video on how the Cybertruck parks itself. Uh, but basically you select the parking spot uh, oh, and the wiper just went off for some reason, but hey, that's okay. And you can see that, you know, I'm not touching the steering wheel, the brake or the accelerator, and it's just trying to center itself into the parking spot, and it handled it perfectly. So overall, very nicely done. I, I will, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, it could have handled the, the speed bumps a little bit better, but, uh, you know, with this suspension here, I, I couldn't even feel them, so it was great. There was a little bit of a bump, but it was just absolutely amazing. All right, that's, that's what's up. <laughs> Thank you, Tesla. Thank you, AI team. Uh, this is amazing, and I'm sure it's going to get better as we move forward.